it is PJ and today we are going to learn, explore, and discover the Sunset Cliffs Cave. I am filming this on uh, multiple different days, mainly because the weather conditions aren't always going to be good and the light conditions aren't good as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I already jumped into the water. So we were finding a lot of animals here while we were tide pooling at night. There are a lot of baby lobsters and also a lot of adult sized lobsters because they are a nocturnal species. We also found a black sea hare which is the biggest slug in California. I think it's a little bit bigger than the banana slug that you could find in Northern California. It's a mollusk, so it's related to snails, octopi, mussels. And these are very gentle creatures. You can pick them up, you can pet them. If you agitate them, they can release an ink. This one that I picked up was one of the bigger ones. It wasn't actually the biggest one. Maybe about the size of my forearm. Very cute. At the corner of my eye I could see some tentacles sticking out from the rocks so as I pulled up the rocks I found a few of these brittle stars. Brittle stars are echinoderms related to the starfish. They are what they sound like they're very brittle so you want to be very careful with them, handle them gently. They move around similar to how an octopus moves around because their arms or their legs are like tentacles. And also, around the same area, we found a lot of sculpin. I don't know too much about this specific fish. Uh, all I know is that they are really good at camouflaging in the tide pools. And perhaps the weirdest animal that we found was this giant keyhole limpet. It looks like a rock, but it's not a rock. It is also related to the California sea hare because it is a mollusk. Alright, so guys, that was the Sunset Cliffs Cave. It's technically a sinkhole. Uh, all these rocks down here, all these rocks down here came from the roof. So uh, until next time, deuces. Peace. Bye.